you're like me, you've been waiting for years for Canon to make this announcement, and they finally have. On May 15th, they've announced that they are working on their Canon EOS R1, which will be their flagship model for the Canon EOS R systems. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt, and this is Dwyer Creatives, and today I wanted to go over Canon's latest announcement. I'm sure you've probably heard from a few other creators that this is out there really short announcement but it's something that i'd like to dive into because i am a canon enthusiast my first film camera was a canon a1 from there i moved to the canon 40d until that broke which then i upgraded to the 5d mark ii then i moved to my current camera which is the canon eos r6 now let's just go over that announcement it's pretty short but i just want to go over a few quick little things so right in the title canon develops the eos r1 as the first flagship model for the eos r system and this was released on may 15th and they did say that they were looking to do a 2024 release now i think that release is going to be on developmental models i believe in the past they've given these to people going to the olympics or other people to put them in the field to test them before they actually start producing that final model which would be available to consumers but let's keep going they do have a photo of what it should look like of course it's on par of what you expect very close to the r3 this camera will dramatically improve the performance of both still and video images i think that this is very interesting where they're still focusing on this hybrid camera even on this professional level. This camera employs the newly developed image processor Digic Accelerator in addition to the pre-existing Digit X. So this is telling us that it's going to be running two processors, maybe one to run their autofocus system and then the one to run the rest of it. Going to the next part, they talk about a new CMOS sensor, which they don't release any specs yet. Again, this is all in the development. They're just announcing that they're working on it. So it'd be interesting to see what they're actually going to produce and what the final details are going to be. So if we keep going, they start talking about their autofocusing system. For example, subject tracking accuracy has been improved so that in team sporting events where multiple subjects intersect, the target subject can continually be tracked even if another player passes directly in front of them. Now, I find this next part interesting. It talks about how when tracking a subject in different areas, I think a lot of this has to do within like sports and stuff that they'll follow the subject and even try to predict where it's going so that it can accurately follow that. In addition to the AF, action priority function recognizes the subject movement by rapidly analyzing the subject's status. In moments during a sports game, when it is difficult to predict what will happen next, this function will automatically determine the player performing the certain action such as shooting a ball as the main subject and instantly shifts the AF frame, thereby helping to capture decisive moments of gameplay. Having a dedicated processor for that process, it would kind of make sense to have something dedicated to their autofocus systems and the AI that is needed to run that. This announcement goes on, talks about their learning technology, then also it talks about their noise reduction software. I think that this goes back to their new CMO sensor, We'll have to see what the official specs are when they are released. When this was officially announced on the 15th, we had no idea really for specs. Now there has been a few leaks or rumors on the next day, which today is currently the 16th and I'll be releasing this video on the 17th. I advise you take this with a grain of salt, but there's true or not, we really won't know until Canon officially releases these specs, which will probably be a little while. But let's just go over those really quickly. Now, I found these through Digital Camera World and they found them through other sources. So I'll leave a link to where I found them. But this is what they're basically saying. Their rumors are the R1 is going to be 30 megapixels. It's going to do 6.7K at 60 raw, 4.2 at 12 bit. You're looking at frame rates from 40 to 60. So that would probably be like 40 electronical and then 60 mechanical. Then it can do up to 240 frame bursts which would be really interesting to see, especially when you get that like slow-mo effect combining all of them. Now it might also have up to one full second of pre-shooting. And then also it might have a one over 1250 for a flash thing or 1250. I don't think that this will have global shutter. That's something that we've all been wondering even before they released the R3, hey, is this gonna have it? Came out, no, it didn't. Will they have it on the R1? Who knows? I don't think they're going to, but it'd be nice if they did. Maybe that extra processor will also be used to help run a global shutter. We can only speculate at what these final specs will be. So there you go, that's Kenan's announcement. 
I'm excited to see what this finally will be as we've been waiting for that flagship model since they started their Canon EOS R line. I know I can still remember the day they released the Canon R and the RP. And then again, you know, like I was super excited moving up to my Canon R6. So hopefully we get a few more official details from Canon soon. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna be waiting a little while before they finally release those details. Let me know down in the comments if you're excited about the Canon R1 finally being announced. Whether you enjoy Canon cameras or if you're in a different market for the other brands, for me, I enjoy all of them. But again, especially from where I started, I really am a fan of the Canon line. So yeah, that's where I'll leave y'all. I'll wrap this up right here. That's Canon's announcement for their Canon EOS R1. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.